Brett, I really got to thank you for bringing your carbon wheels. But more importantly, you brought a 911 GT3 with your carbon wheels on that you let me drive. We'll get into some of the performance aspects in just a moment. But one of the things that really struck me as we drove down the highway, when we hit any kind of impact strips, this thing just seemed to roll right over it. I've been in other performance cars where you hear ka-thump, 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 ka-thump. What's going on? Why would a wheel make that kind of difference? Yeah, that's right. It's a great place to test something like that. The roads in Detroit are perfect for evaluating impact. <laughs> Only for evaluating. <laughs> that's right. No, but the, um, that's one of the things we've done. The, the, we, the weight of the wheel and the reduction of the weight is so important to suspension performance. So one, that fundamental reduction of up to 10 pounds on each wheel end is really reducing that force when you're hitting those sharp obstacles. Um, the material itself is also slightly higher damping than metal, so you get some absorption of that, uh, that impact harshness. And the result is a, a quieter, plusher ride in something that's as harsh as a GT3. I didn't have the opportunity to go, do an A to B test, you know, a steel wheel to carbon wheel. But one of the things I notice is the steering feels very light. Now, admittedly, it is a GT3 and they're all pretty light. But it, it, it was, uh, I don't know, uh, more of a feeling of precision. It, is that something that you're picking up on and, and just going from a steel to a carbon wheel? Yeah, absolutely. The transition from the heavy metal wheels, the, the alloys and uh, the steel wheels, it's really the re inertia reduction. So what we've got is those big gyroscopes out on the steering axis, right? So at speed, those are generating a lot of torque. When you want to turn the wheel in, that's generating a torque that shows up at the steering wheel. Um, we've re really reduced the inertia significantly. That allows you to feel the tire and actually feel what's going on with the contact patch. So it's very consistent. All of the drivers feel the, the reduction in effort and increase in precision. So definitely a steering improvement. Uh, I've got to believe absolutely a cornering improvement. What other kind of attributes can you pick up on with these carbon wheels? Yeah, and the cornering really comes from uh, the mass reduction and helping the suspension system work better, which allows the tire to work better. So in those rough sections mid-corner with the, the carbon wheels, allow the suspension to keep that tire on the ground so you can stay on the brakes uh, earlier going into a corner, um, you can get on the gas earlier coming out, uh, really helps improve the overall grip and control of the vehicle. You were telling me earlier when you've taken these cars to some tracks, you might pick up over a second a lap with just these carbon wheels. Yeah, exactly. We've done some track testing with Kelly Collins um, out in California, and on a 70 second lap on average we were getting 1.2 seconds, upwards of 1.4 on his flying laps, and that really came from being able to drive the car harder and faster, right? He could feel what was going on in that front end. He had the increased grip in, uh, in the corners. He said he could take lines that he couldn't take um, because the car was working that much better. Braking and accelerating on the, uh, on the curbing, where the aluminum wheel was actually leaving the ground and had no traction, the car was stuck and able to corner hard. So that's amazing that you can pick up so much performance with just a new kind of wheel. Absolutely. And we're excited in that exercise, that was an entry level application, so bolt on retrofittable. We didn't tune the suspension for it. So the user, the end consumer, can actually get in and you know, tune a shock and uh, improve the rebound damping to let the wheel work even better with the suspension. There's more time to be had. Brett, thanks so much for coming in and bringing us up to date on the latest from Carbon Revolution. Very interesting. Thank you.